Okay, so in this video, I am going to solve another problem about simple stress. Here's the problem. The boom AC is a 4-inch square steel tube with a wall thickness of 0.25 inches. The boom is supported by the 0.5-inch diameter pin at A and the 0.375 inch diameter cable DC. The working stresses are 25 KSI for the cable, 18 KSI for the boom, and 13.6 KSI for shear in the pin. Neglecting the weight of the boom, determine the largest safe load P that can be applied as shown. Okay. So, <clears throat> since the stresses are given, stress for the cable, for the boom, and for the pin, and the diameter and the dimensions are also given, then we only need to determine the forces. Force a cable, force a boom, and then force a pin. Force that will cause shear stress a pin. Okay, so let's analyze point C. Okay, so what we're going to do is we will cut a section sa boom and then cut also the cable and then identify the forces. Cut and then it's obvious now with this force P, the mole will be compressed or subjected to a compressive force. And then BC will be stretched no, or will experience tensile, tensile stress. No? Okay. So this is FEC and FBC is tensile. <clears throat> so okay. this is joint C, analysis in joint C. Let's identify the forces. We have P and then FEC. And then if B C <clears throat> okay. So we have a concurrent force system. So what we are going to do is we will express F E C and F B C in terms of P. No? And we need the angles. Okay. So if so that you will not get confused, find the angle that the force makes with a horizontal. So from here, let us draw a horizontal line passing through point C. Oh. This one. Now for this right triangle, this is 30 and this one is 90. Therefore, this angle is 60. Okay. That one, that is 60. And for this tri right triangle, one, two, three, this one is 70, and this one is 90. Therefore, this angle is 20. Okay. So, we can now use the conditions of equilibrium, summation of force uh, horizontal equal to zero, and summation of force along the vertical equal to zero. In order to express FEC and FBC in terms of P. So let's resolve the forces into components. For this one, oh, first quadrant one, this one is second quadrant. First quadrant, since the force is directed upward to the right, no, up to the right, it's the first quadrant. So, for horizontal forces, we only have two. This one, and then this one. And so we have this equation. FEC cosine 60 minus FBC cosine 20. This will be our equation number one. Next, summation of force uh, vertical equal to zero. We have three forces. One and then three. Here's the equation. 
FAC sin 60 plus FBC sin 20 minus P equal to 0. And after this, let's transpose P to the right side. Okay, this will be our equation number 2. So we now have two equations with two unknowns. So we let's combine one and two. So combine one and two. And then let's eliminate FBC. Since the two yeah, um different ang signs. Negative and positive. Okay. This is equation one and this is equation number two. So to eliminate FBC, the coefficients, their coefficients must be equal. And for from equation 1, we have cosine 20. And from equation 2, sine 20. So para ma-equal, let's multiply equation 1 by sine. Interchange, di ba? This equation multiplied by sine 20. This equation multiplied by cosine 20. Oh, and then since difference like sign, we add na to. So each term sa equation 1, mag-multiply ta og sign 20. This is the result. <clears throat> and same also with equation number 2, multiplied by cosine 20. And then we add... Oh, the term containing FBC will be cancelled out. Equal naman. Na. So, ang next ani is i-add. And common ang FEC, we can factor out FEC. And then, ma-add din doon. And then, sa right side, 0 plus P cosine 20. The result is this. Okay. Next is we're going to divide this one sa right side. And then calculate. The answer is this one. FAC is equal to 0.954 of P. After this, uh, we, will, we, will we will substitute this one either to equation 1 from here or equation 2 here. Okay, let's just use equation 1. From equation 1, we will substitute FEC. This from 0.954P to this one. And then transpose. And compute for this one. We have FBC equal to 0.5076P. Okay. So, we are now ready to solve for P, you know, given the three conditions. Okay. But before that, uh, I'm going to share to you another solution or an alternate solution. So, uh, the alternate solution is using force polygon. Now, force polygon is, is a better choice pag... There are only three forces. Since if you have three forces, then ang polygon na makuha ni mo is a triangle. So, here's the force polygon. You will start with either force. Pero it is convenient to start with a vertical or a horizontal force. So, in this case, vertical. So, let us start with P. So, P downward. And then... Uh, connect FEC upward, no? tip to tail method. No? So uh, that's FEC, and then you connect FBC, second quadrant. And then solve for the angles. This one, the angle that FEC makes with the vertical, that's 30, no? FEC with this fix the vertical. 30 okay, 60 so this one is 30 for fb fbc this one 
the angle that FBC makes with the vertical is this. FBC with respect to vertical. That's 70. 20. 70. Na. And summation of angles in a triangle. This angle is equal to 180 minus 70 minus 30. And the value is 80 degrees. So to solve for FEC and FBC, we will use sine law. Uh, this one. FEC over sine 70 equals P over sine 80. And I cross ni mo ang sine 70 divided by sine 80. Then we have this one. FEC is equal to 0.954P. Similarly for FBC, same lang. FBC over sine 30 equals P over sine 80. And cross ang sine 30 divided by sine 80, we have this one. Okay, so i-check na to sa previous na solution. Same lang. If AC is 0.954P, if BC is 0.5076P. So after this, pwede na tamo solve sa P using the three conditions. So the condition one is, Okay, let's consider boom EC. Ang boom, okay. the boom EC is a 4-inch square steel tube. So, square na steel tube, pero hollow. And nasa wall thickness na 0.25. Therefore, ang inner dimension niya is only 3.5. Okay, 4, uh, thickness of 0.25 times 2.5. So, the inner dimension is 3.5. So, we have the dimensions of the boom. And then, the stress is 18 KSI. 18 KSI. And ang force niya is FEC, which contains P. Oh, FEC. So, we have this one. Normal stress. So, the stress is 18 Ang P na to sa boom is FEC, this one. And the area is bigger square minus smaller square. Bigger square is 4 inches ang dimension. Smaller na square is 3.5. 3.5. And we have this one. <clears throat> um... You can express the stress in KSI, pwede sa PSI. So, di multiply na to 2,000 para PSI. Pounds per square inch. So, therefore, ang unit na to sa P is in pounds. So, area sa outer na square minus inner square. Oh, P is 70,754.717 pounds. Condition 2 is for the pin. Now, for the pin at A, oh, the force that will cause shearing stress sa pin is pwede ang reaction sa A or ang force sa boom. Same lang. Reaction sa A is equal to the force sa boom. So we can just use the force uh, of the boom. <clears throat> So the stress is 13.6. And then take note sa A, double shear lang yapon. Mo diri, diri man ang makato. Ma shear off is diri 1 and 2. This is the formula. Ang force is ang sa boom. If easy lang. And then stress given ng area. Oh, area sa pin. 0.5 inch diameter yeah. times 2 okay, double shear. Again, ang stress is converted no, to PSI. Therefore, ang P will have a unit of pounds. And the last condition is for the cable. Sa cable, the diameter is 0.375 inches. While ang working stress niya is 25 KSI. 
Okay, so stress is given P sa cable is FBC. Ang area niya is area of a circle. And P is 5,439.648. What is asked is the largest safe load P. Okay. So, okay. Selecting from the three values of P, the largest safe load is the smallest among the three. So, therefore, the largest safe load is equal to 5,439.648 pounds. Or if you want to express your answer in keeps, divide this one by 1,000, and you have this answer. 5.44 keeps. Okay. So what is important here is in determining the forces. So which means na dapat strong ang fundamental sa statics. Okay. Para easy na lang ang pag-determine sa stresses. So I hope that you have learned something from this one. Thank you for watching.